All right, party people, what is up? I'm going to be wrapping up this new little skillet right here real quick, this new Heady TI pad I got. It's a really, really awesome titanium pad, so I'm going to be rewrapping my Mini Mammoth with it. So I got a pretty used up pad on this guy. You can see a lot of oxidation on there, so it's this guy's time to go. Perfect timing. So I have this. This is aluminum wire that I'm going to be using for the wrap. I'm going to be wrapping this onto the bell. This is what I used to wrap the arm of the skillet onto the bell of the uh, the curve, the glass. And um, this right here, I don't really. It didn't come with any labeling. I got this at Home Depot. This is like a uh, uh, rebar fence wire. Is what the guy told me it was. It had no label on it at all. So I grabbed this guy off the shelf and I asked the dude what it was. That's what he told me. So I have no idea what this wire actually is, but it's steel. And this is what I use to wrap onto the titanium plate. So it's curled up right now, but you just got to straighten it out a little bit and bend it. It's really easy to work with. It looks curved, but when you're in the end, um, it won't look curved or wacky at all if you do it right. <clears throat> and um, these are the only two wires I use, one for the arm, one for this. You don't use the aluminum for your arm because you need a, a metal that really takes the heat. And then I use aluminum. A lot of people use steel wire, but I find sometimes when steel wire has too much tension in it, like when you wrap it around the... Uh, when you wrap it around this part right here, sometimes it'll snap and stuff like that. And this aluminum wire does a much better job of dealing with the wear and tear from this motion for sure. So that's why I use aluminum wire. That's just my opinion. A lot of people do whatever they want. but And a lot of people use a much thicker wire for their arm. But I like this stuff. It works fine for me. So um, I'm not going to really be talking during the demo. I'm just going to wrap it up. So yeah, I'll show you guys how I do it. Peace. All right, party people. So right now I am just... Uh pulling out some pieces of wire. <clears throat> I usually go about a foot and a half in length or so, foot to a foot and a half. Um, just stretch them out and uh, clip them off with the wire cutters as you can see. I have the video sped up so that the uh, time goes by a little bit quicker. And then I have this wire that I'm going to be using for the arm that needs to go straight. So what I do is I put on this leather glove um, this glove lets me just um, tweak the wire a little bit easier. It allows me to put more pressure in a more spread out surface than just my fingertips by using the uh, pads of the gloves. So it makes the uh, wire flattening process just a lot easier and uh, quicker, that's for sure. Um, it saves lives, this little glove trick that I've made up for myself. And take it off, and the wire is pretty straight. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, just uh, straight enough so that you can bend it and it's not all curvy and stuff and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it flush with the back side and then wrap it as tightly as you possibly can around the skillet wrap tucking the wire in the notches and then once it's tucked in there take a pair of pliers and squeeze the wire down as hard as you can um, this is going to keep the skillet pad from wiggling around when you uh, when you're taking your hit when it's actually on the skillet bill. If you don't tighten the skillet pad like that it will uh, it'll wiggle around in the wire wrap. And then I just bend it up t to make it a 90 degree angle with the pad and then tighten it as much as possible after that point. So that way it's ready to be bent for the shape of the skillet. Give it one more bend just to make sure that it's extra secure. Now it's ready. 90 degree angle, ready to be put on for a skillet arm. Next, we have the uh, skillet arm that I bent up for the skillet bell. Um, each skillet bell is going to be a different shape, you know, depending on what your skillet is, who made it, you know, every skillet is unique. Um, so what you're going to have to do is bend it to your own, the own way that's going to work best for you. Um, I'm just showing you some example bends that I do um, before I wrap it up. That way you guys can kind of get a gist of it before it's all wrapped up so you can see what the arm looks like 
before it's on there. And you can see I'll use my finger kind of as a as a uh, wrap in the meantime so you can see how it'll work. And you just kind of bend it until it fits in there as you want it. Then um, what I'm going to be doing is wrapping the aluminum wire around the arm. And what you do is on the uh, on the bent part that's going to be going around the uh, anchor on the skillet, you're going to um, wrap it around the center of that as tight as you can in a loop, and then continue to go around that um, bend in the skillet arm um, until you fill up a good bit of space, at least enough in length th so that you're not um, bending the wire too much around the skillet anchor. You kind of want it to be as straight as possible off of the skillet arm around the anchor or else you're going to have a lot of tension in weird places and that tension is uh, is not good that's for sure for the wrap. And what I'm doing with the pliers is as I'm wrapping it you know with your hands you can't get it perfectly tight so what I do is I just tighten it a little bit with those wires and press it together kind of like a spring coil just squeeze them um, on the ends together that way that the coil around the arm is as tight as possible and then I'm just going to keep going around like that until it's all done and then I'm going to pull the aluminum wire out straight so that way like I said you want it to be as straight as possible around the skillet anchor now I'm going to be putting it around the anchor once you do that, you're going to wrap it around the actual um, skillet bell itself. Um, you're going to wrap down and around underneath the skillet arm and around the top of the first bend that you made around the skillet bell. So that way it secures itself in place around that. And then what I do is I take the pliers and I pull those wires as tight as possible. Um, that way you have a nice and secure tight wrap around the glass so that your skillet bell doesn't slide around. And then once you have that, I like I said before, I pull it extra tight just to make sure that the uh, wires are very secure. And then you just give it the old twist. Just um, for the aluminum wire, what you're going to want to do is keep one of the wires straight and wrap the other one around it, kind of like you did on the skillet arm. But steel wires do a little bit better with the basic twisting. Aluminum wire tends to snap when you give both of them a, a good twist. So it, it works a lot better when you wrap one around the other. And as you can see, it's nice and secure. All that we need to do now is cut the wires. So you just take the wire cutters, make sure everything's nice and tight. The wrap, or the coil around the wrap is where you want it in place. Um, make sure everything's in place before you cut the wires because it's easier to bend the wires when they're longer than when they're short. And then you just take a pair of wire cutters and clip them. And then what I like to do with the arm of my skillet, some people, everyone likes to do their own thing. I just give it a quick little loop and that works for me. You know, It just gives you something to grab onto uh, so you don't poke yourself with the end of the wire and so you don't, um, you know, so it's easy to grab. And that's it. That's how you wrap a skillet.